Curious as to what your pension amount may be at retirement? Complete and submit an estimate card. NHRS will calculate an estimate based on the information you provide. The estimate will be sent to your mailing address on file. We strive to get an estimate out to you within 15 days. On the following slides, we'll show you how to fill out each section of the estimate card. If you are currently working and contributing to your pension, check the service box. If you are not currently working for an employer within the retirement system, check the vested deferred box. If you are an active member who became disabled due to a work-related condition, check the accidental disability box. If you are an active member who became disabled due to a non-work-related condition, check the ordinary disability box. Enter your full name, last four of your social security number, mailing address, phone number, and date of birth. For active members, the termination date is the last day you'll work for your current employer. Or for members who are not currently working, it is when you left NHRS covered employment. This date must be prior to the estimated date of retirement. The estimated date of retirement is always the first of the month. When entering your retirement date, make sure to include the year. For current gross annual salary, if you were vested before 12-31-2011, provide your current annual salary and enter any expected severance in the next box. If you are not vested before 12-31-2011, provide your current annual salary and leave the severance box empty. Enter your current employer if you are currently working or who your employer was when you left NHRS covered employment. A member may select a reduced pension under a survivorship option to provide a lifetime pension to a beneficiary or beneficiaries. The amount of the reduction in the member's retirement pension will depend on the option selected, the member's age at the time of retirement, and the age of each primary beneficiary. If you would like the estimate to include a survivorship option, list a single beneficiary's date of birth and relationship to you. If you would like to see a survivorship option with multiple beneficiaries, which is limited to your children and may include your spouse, list each person's date of birth, check the appropriate box for their relationship to you, and designate a percentage, making sure the combined percentages equal 100%. Finally, check the box certifying you have read and agree to the statement. I certify that the information in or attached to this estimate card is complete, accurate, and up-to-date. Furthermore, I understand this estimate is non-binding. If you have completed this form electronically, save a copy to your desktop and attach the saved copy to an email and send it to info at nhrs.org. Please ensure you receive a confirmation email from NHRS, which will be sent within one business day. If you do not receive a confirmation, please send the estimate card again. You may also print and mail or fax the form to NHRS. The address and fax number are listed at the top of the form. You can download an estimate card right from the NHRS homepage at www.nhrs.org. A link to the form is shown under the heading for popular member forms. Members who have an account on my account, the Retirement System Secure Online Portal, can fill out and submit an estimate card electronically.